If you like your privacy, you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this next story because you may be about to have a little less of it. And this is all because of a change that went into effect this week by one of the largest cell phone carriers in the country. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia tells us what T-Mobile has done and what you can do to stop them from sharing your online activity. T-Mobile is now sharing everything you do on any device connected to their network under a change in their privacy policy. I think that it is a breach of your privacy for, for a provider to be selling your information to somebody else. Here's what happened. Very quietly back on the 23rd of February, T-Mobile changed its privacy policy saying starting April 26th, they would start using data about you, including web and device usage for targeted advertising, unless you tell us not to. About a month later in mid-March, the company sent out texts to customers alluding to the change saying, we're updating our privacy notice with changes to your data choices for advertising. Yesterday, several days after the policy became effective, another text went out saying, we'll begin using your data to personalize ads you see and offering an opt-out link. If the cell phone companies need that extra revenue to keep my bill down, I'm okay with that. They aren't the only ones collecting data. Facebook, Google, and Amazon, to name just three big players, all collect tons of information about your activities. And back in January, I warned you about free apps like Messenger, which collect your data for targeted ads. Once it gets to their systems and it's not encrypted anymore, they can look at it, they can read it, they can parse through it. But with T-Mobile and other cell phone carriers, you have the chance to say, no, don't do that to me. But you have to opt out first. I would personally love to know how to opt out of that because I definitely don't want to participate. <laughs> So let me help you out because the opt-out provision is different for all the major carriers. In my web story, I'll walk you through the process for each of them, and I'll also include some links so you too can access the opt-out provision. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher. 